Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial where I'll be showing you different wall designs and also some wallpaper designs that you can use in your Minecraft building. So let's get started. So this video was suggested by one of you, so this is the 10th episode of Minecraft Building Basics and let's get into it. So there's an obvious thing with walls that you might want to do a gradient or something like this, going all the way from deep slates all the way up to something like white concrete powder. This is the perfect uh, gradient for it. So you go cobble deep slate, tough, dead fire, cobble, stone, andesite, light grey, concrete powder, diorite, calcite, smooth quartz, and then white concrete powder. And it's as simple as that. Just a bit of variation in the gradient, and you can have yourself a gradient for your wall. But what if you aren't wanting something this standard and want to do just something which looks like a classic wall? Well, I have some examples for you. So, quite often I like to put a little sort of border on the bottom of my walls, and I have a few examples of this. So we have for example, lodestone and stone bricks, which I think go really well together. Although it's quite expensive in creative, it looks beautiful. And also in survival, if you can get these, it will make your builds look so much better. Like lodestone is a beautiful block. And honestly, also it's a bit of a flex to have it in your build. So use that uh, to flex on your friends. <laughs> there we go. So we also have quartz and quartz brick, which works really nicely. Because these are basically larger bricks than these. So it comes up with a really nice design. I think this can be easily done for an interior or an exterior. So it could be like a bathroom with tiles or something like that. And then on this side, this is a good one for the outside. You can have a load of stripped spruce logs facing this way or just spruce logs. And then a load of spruce planks above it. So you can have a border which separates the wall from the ground. Another one I quite often use is a combination of polished andesite and normal andesite because this just works really well. I usually use these for actually pavements or sidewalks or whatever you call them. But I mean, I quite like this as a wall design as well. As I do a lot of medieval building, I quite often mix in some cobblestone and all that sort of stuff into this for texturing. And actually, if you want to do texturing or weathering in your walls instead of just the things I'm showing you, I've got tutorials on them already so you can check those out. But yeah, this is very simple and it's basically just still showing how much a border does for it. It would be boring if it was just a blank slate. And then speaking of slate, we've got a load of polished deep slate and some deep slate tiles and this works really nicely as well. Now we're moving out from the exterior to the interior with some wallpaper designs. Now these are blocks which you might not use usually. So yeah, we've got bone. And I mean, it looks really nice for a wallpaper. It's like the perfect sort of color you want. You don't want something too bright, but you don't want it too dark. And this is really, really nice. So you've got this going up like so. It's just, I love it so much. But the thing is, the only way you can do a wallpaper like this is if you're willing to have a two block wide wall, which is really good if you're doing like some sort of castle or some massive build, which you really need sort of wallpapers for to really bring out the interior. Now on the other side, we have something a bit more interesting and you may be like, how have you managed to turn around dark oak planks? But this is a cartography table and you can see only two of the sides have this pattern. This direction is west and this direction is south. Those are the only directions that work for this. So, I mean, it works in a few cases, but actually using this in a build will make your friends think you've used commands in some weird way or got a texture pack. Um, but no, you haven't. It's a cartography table. And it's a bit dark for a wallpaper, personally. But, like, I think this is really cool, especially if you want something a bit more interesting. So now here we have something even more interesting, which is a composter. And I really sort of like this because this doesn't really work with any other type of wood like you can see this has all got compost in but if you ignore that fact and think of this as just some sort of rings around it it really does look like some sort of rustic wallpaper or something like that or some boarded up areas because it just does look like that i mean it lets light through a bit too much but it's a really cool design and it's a really nice way to use this block as something not like a composter. On this side we have mushroom stem and personally mushroom stem is like a lifesaver in building for me. Like it works really nicely as a wallpaper. Like look at this beautiful sort of swirly pattern it's got on it. And also if you want to do a sort of like typical posh ceiling you can use this sort of colour because this is a perfect colour you'd quite often find on sort of renaissance buildings. You'd have this sort of colour. Um, not with that sort of pattern but you can use this sort of colour and this is the closest thing to it, to that sort of type of ceiling. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll know. So, yeah, it's a really useful block. It's very versatile, lots of different types. And 
honestly, this is really, really useful as a block anyway. And I'd suggest you use it a bit more in your building if you don't already. Now over here, we have the new chiseled bookshelf. Now that name makes no sense, but still, this is a really nice wallpaper design. I mean, it's sort of a grid and it you can see where the books would be on the other side, but I mean, it looks really, really nice. If you forget that this is a bookshelf, it looks like a really sort of fancy wallpaper and it is a great use of this block as not a bookshelf. So I'd suggest you use this. A more like colorful wallpaper design would be using bee nests. And this just looks really, really cool because you've got three sides you can use for this. And you can always, of course, turn it round. And I mean, even the, this bit looks good for a sort of flooring pattern. But like all of this, it just looks really, really colorful. And I think it does look like a sort of typical wallpaper. Although you have to just remember, it, you have to pretend it's not honey, but still. It's a really nice design and I think it looks really, really nice as a wallpaper. These have all been sort of so far using weird blocks in ways you wouldn't expect them. Now here's two which are typical for wallpapers. So we've always used chiseled quartz block as a wallpaper. It's just the perfect design. It is really sort of fancy wallpaper and it looks really really nice it always has looked really nice and like even in the previous versions where i think it probably looks a bit different possibly maybe i'm just getting confused i think the sides looks different yeah i think it was this pattern all over or something like that i can't remember i feel like the texture has changed but anyway this has always been used as a sort of wallpaper block and it just it works really really well because it's the same sort of color as mushroom stem it's the same sort of color as bone it's just it just works really really well and speaking of other things which work stripped logs any type of log work really well as a wallpaper because you've got that same sort of texture like bone and it sort of almost looks yeah just just like this because it's sort of like almost layers have been put down like that you could always see where people have brushed down the wallpaper down here and it also just looks it's, it's a really useful block anyway any stripped log and i think Adding strip logs into the game was one of the best things for Minecraft building which has ever happened, honestly. But, yeah, this is a really useful block for wallpapers. Like, you can use any type of log for wallpapers, and really this one works really, really nicely. So, with all of that done, that's the tutorial over. So, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, as it will really help me out. If you have any suggestions for other tutorials I could make and things which you would like to watch, do tell me in the comments down below, as I'd be happy to make them. And also, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye!